My name is Alan Hart and today I'm going to do a video on how to set your combi pack 4 from EPH controls. This is the combi pack 4 from EPH controls and this is the programmable room thermostat. First of all I'll show you how to install the batteries. If we open the front flap and then if we pull the front cover down and then we can put the batteries in the front very easy and then we can see the display comes on if we look at the front on this we can see it's got a very large LCD display very nice very bright for customer to see in the box you get some very detailed installation instructions and user instructions I'll add a link or I'll add a picture to that at the end so that you can see that freeze that if you want but for now what we'll do we'll go back to the clock and I'll show you how to set it the combi pack 4 is a programmable room thermostat the temperature that is shown on the front now that is the temperature in this room now when we look on the front we can see there's an auto auto is when you want to use the programmable part of the control we've then got a manual and as that as that says manual that means that when it's in manual you'll better turn it up and down on here and you better set it to the temperature that you want you've got an off You've got a programmable, so you can set the programs in there. Then you've got time, so you can set the time. Holiday, holiday function, and copy, and boost, and an OK. So these are all really easy, really, really easy to use. If we just like to put the heating on, we can just click manual. And we can use it in manual mode. And then we can use the plus and the minus on here and we can click it to the temperature so this is now the temperature that we're asking it to be so if we want this room now to be 28 degrees it will flash 28 degrees and click on OK and you'll see on there there's now a flame symbol on here now it shows you it's 24 Point four degrees in this room so that's the temperature it is now and the flame means that we're asking it for heat if we turn that back down we turn that to say we turn that to 20 degrees just click on OK and now this room is 24 and a half degrees but we only want it to be 20 degrees so the flame has now gone off so that means that this would now turn the boiler off until this temperature drops below whatever we've set it to so we've set it to 20 degrees so if it drops below 20 degrees then the thermostat will come back on by itself and the flame will come back on if we want to set the time and the date on this we'll just click on to time and we can scroll up and down on here for the year to click OK and the month is the first and the day is the tenth just click OK and the time at the moment is two 45 and that's how you set the time if we've got it on manual and we just want it to turn the heating off so it's permanently off all we need to do is just click on the off and if you see on there now this is now off and it will not ask the boiler to come back on again now if we wanted to put it onto the timer we can just click auto and this will now come on on the settings that's in 
the programmer. If you want to change the settings that's in the programmer, so you can set your own times, press on to the programmer. And as you can see there, number one's flashing, and it's flashing 620, and we can turn it up and down on here. So if you want it to come on at six o'clock in the morning, click OK. And this is now the temperature that we want it to be. So we want it to come on, we want the house to get warm, we want it to get to 21 degrees, and then we click OK. And when we want it to go off, so we can again we can set this. So if we go to work, we might have this on say about half past eight. Click OK, and then we can set this. Set this to whatever you want the back setting to be. And then again for your next setting. If you want it to come on at dinner time, what temperature do you want it to come on? You don't have to set this one if you didn't want to. And then click OK. And again at 2 o'clock, so now it'll go off, go back down. Oh. 2 o'clock, put that back to 15, so that house doesn't drop below 15. And then we want it to come back on. Say we want it to come back on at 4 o'clock, click OK. And again we're asking it to be 21 degrees now. Click OK, and then if we want it to go off at 11, click OK, and again this is the back temperature, so if we set this to 15, or whatever you wanted this to be, and then click OK, and then you can set your Saturday and your Sundays on here as well, so just click OK on them, I'm just showing you how to do them, so I'm not going to show you all that again. Just click through that. When we set the program to start with, so I'll just click back into the programmer. We can see it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're setting it for a five day week there. You can go in the settings and you can alter that. When we set the program to start with, so I'll just click back into the programmer. We can see it's got Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we're setting it for a five day week there. You can go in the settings and you can alter that. A setting that's really useful with this, if you've got elderly or you've got children or anybody that likes to mess about with controls, you can actually lock this control. So if you look at the moment, we can just move this around. We can turn it off. We can put it on manual. We can put it on auto. If we want to lock this control, all we need to do is press the minus and the plus button here. And if we press them together, if we hold them for about 10 seconds, so we'll just wait until that locks and we'll see a little padlock. See that little padlock there? And now when we touch these controls on here, we can see they don't do, they don't do anything. So nobody can mess about with this now. So if you've set Say you set this and you want it to always be 20 degrees or whatever you want it to be on here. You can manually set it and then you could lock it if you wanted to. And then to take that padlock back off, all you need to do is press and hold the plus and minus again. And you need to, plus, you need to hold that plus and minus for 10 seconds. And if you see there now, the padlock has gone off. And now we can... Alter, alter, whatever we want again now. If you need to reset the control, if you just have a look on the side there. It's a bit hard to see on the camera, but there's just a reset button there. And you just have to put, push them in there just to reset it. So we'll just click the reset symbol there flashing so you can click yes so that means reset yes or reset no and if you click on yes and then all you do is you just click on ok and then that will reset the display for you if you want to change the factory setting for for the programmer 
click into time set all your times in there click OK so you've done all your times in there and then when you get to this this is five day two day and you can alter this so if you want it 24 hour you can have it 24 hour or you can have it seven day so you can set that on whichever setting that you want in there and then just click on OK and that's it the combi pack 4 also has some advanced controls if we click on to program and OK if we hold that for around six seconds or five seconds it'll take us into the installer menu and we've got P O 1 and if we click on that we can alter to whichever we want so if we go into P O 1 click OK N O R that's normal mode O O S or O 5 is optimum start so if we click on that you can alter you can alter that in there or go back into that we can go to TPI as well and again we could click into that and we can alter alter these settings in here PO2 that's high limit so you can set the limit of a thermostat so if, say for instance it's in an HMO or somewhere like that you can control you can you can limit the highest temperature on it leave that at 35 and also the low temperature so again we'll just come out of that PO3 that's um, differential, differential mode or something I'm not sure I'm not really sure what that one does um, but if we go back into that go back to go to number four that's calibration go to number five Number five is frost protection, so you can you can turn frost frost protection on and off in this in this one. Just go back out of that. Um, okay, and then number six is exit. So if you click on number six, just click OK. There's a lot a lot of settings in there, so you can mess about with that till your heart's content. And if you do get stuck or if you do something wrong with it then you can just click on that reset there and it'll send it back to factory settings I've added the set of installation instructions here if you want to pause on any of the sections if that would be helpful this includes the contents it also includes how your pro programmable thermostat works it also shows you the factory default settings the specifications shows you how to mount so the mounting of the thermostat and that should be 1.5 meters above the floor level it shows you about the installation tells you about frost protection tells you about the lcd display and the symbols on it it also tells you about all the buttons on the on the display shows you how to reset so resetting the thermostat keep keypad lock and unlock so it shows you how to do that as well it shows you how to set the date and time operation mode shows you the factory programmable program settings shows you how to adjust the program settings for two five to two day shows you how to copy functions temporary override permanent override So that's your combi pack 4 from EPH controls you can get these flaps with your company name if you want your company name on them it comes with a stand and it also comes with a back plate so you can put it on wall if you want the the control is open firm and it's also it's TPI as well if you want to put it into TPI and it, it totally complies with Boiler Plus in the UK. I hope this video has been of some use. And thank you for taking the time to watch it. Oh, don't forget to click up here somewhere and subscribe. Thanks very much.